All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're finally now gonna start the welding process of the shortened frame. Now the first I'm gonna do is do a couple of tack welds just to kind of hold it in place so I can take those clamps off. And then I'll start actually building my gussets that are gonna go along the bottom, which now I'm thinking this might not be thick enough, especially for this area down here because my plate is four inches wide well actually you know what it might be all right so let me let me figure this out i'll, fi I'll figure it out but i'm pretty sure i can make a pretty good uh pretty good gusset right there but uh i want to build once i fully weld the sides of it i want to put a plate right here and then, then i kind of want to do some um do a piece of the square tubing that i have over there Hopefully it's not as uh, thicker than this. Um, and I wanna use that to kind of reinforce the bottom. But one step at a time, we're gonna start by uh, welding the sides of it. Uh, just tack welding it for now and then making my plates that are gonna go up here. And then um, I really need to start getting ready to cut that out because that's gonna be in my way to weld this um, upper plate in. But for now, I'm gonna start making my little templates to uh, cut on this uh, flat plate right there and then making the inner ones. But for now, I'm gonna uh, tack weld that in real quick. So that's not too big of a progress, but it's a start. Little progress is better than no progress. So let me go ahead and get that tacked up and I'll get back in a second. All right, so just like that, I made my little templates. This is the, pretty much the same one that I had for the bottom. It was just a little bit longer. So there's my template for the cover. I am gonna cut it a little bit smaller. That way I can, ha I can bevel these out. That way I have a little groove to weld to. And then all I did was cut this, the bottom one, to fit the top. So just like that. And then I already transferred it over here to my quarter inch plate. So I'm gonna cut these out and uh, grind them down, clean them up, bevel them, and tack these in. So that'll be the plan for tonight. So a little bit of grinding action. So put you guys over here. Hopefully I don't shoot sparks over here on my phone. And let's get to grinding. All right, well, there's my four little pieces, my little plates. So those are ready to go, and I think now is the appropriate time to break out the new tool. Order me a little file belt sander deal. So I'm gonna set this up here on this little makeshift bench, and we get it wired up and take a look at it. We'll do a little unboxing. So this was a little cheeky Amazon bench grinder. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it with the sandpaper because I ordered it a couple weeks ago. But this is the model if you're interested in it. The model 6502T, six inch bench sander. Uh, with foam, oh shit, it already comes with one belt. Sweet. 
All right, so there she is in all her glory. Now this is pretty cool. This has got also its own little angle indicator. So say for example, if I wanted to do this and make a weird angle like that, I can do that and then just slide it back and forth to kind of get it to grind really good. It's got an angle finder right there. So I can adjust different angles. And then obviously you got the belt up top. So say if I wanted to round these corners off, I can do that here or I can do that down here. I just gotta take this off and make it flat again. I'm, first I'm gonna do is uh, probably round off these corners on each one of them, get them round so I can uh, fit them up there. And then what I'll do is I'll do the 45 bevel on them so we can have a nice little groove on them, uh, both the pieces, so we can get good penetration when we go to weld. So let's see how well this thing works. Set it up right here and we'll get to grinding and try out the new bench grinder. So they got pretty much all of them cleaned up. Now the only downside to this thing is it really didn't work too well trying to bevel the 45 in it like I was hoping to. I mean, it got a little bit of it, but there's so not enough room right here on this one to start grinding it because over here, since it's rotating upwards, it's trying to kick this up. And it feels like this upper belt is just running a little bit too slow. And it's going to take just forever to be able to grind these into a nice 45 up here. So I may have to do it by hand with the regular angle grinder, but that's no big deal. But regardless, we got these cut out, ready to go. So you can see this one is going to go right up here. So all we got to do is make our little 45 so we have a nice little groove to weld into. And then I'll just see the bottom one. This one's gonna go down in here, just like that. So now all I gotta do is, uh, I'm gonna switch over to my angle grinder and do my 45s on those. And um, I'll probably do them up here as well. So I'm gonna do that on all four of these and then I'll get back with you guys in a second. Uh, cut out but they're a little bit hot i'm gonna i don't know if i'll be able to put them on tonight but see if i can kind of get this on there actually you know what probably let me try to slip on my glove real quick this will probably help all right so now with that little 45 you can kind of see i don't know if you can tell let me just try to zoom in so you can see we kind of have a little bit of a groove in there to weld to. And I'll probably see if I can grind the edge of this just a little bit to angle it a little bit more. 
and we should be good there. Just open it up a little bit more, get a little bit more of an opening. So let me do that real quick and I kind of show you on that, just that one, get that one ground out on the bottom. <laughs> All right, so now you can see, we got this nice little bevel right there. Might be hard to tell on camera, but there we go. So now that if I put my new plate on here, you can see how I have a nice little channel that I can weld into. Well, I don't know how well it's gonna come out on camera, but you kind of get the idea. So there's a nice little cave right there little channel for me to weld into. So I'm gonna do these on all four, but that will be tomorrow because my wife is trying to get me into the house. It is almost 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna cut this here and then I'll pick this back up tomorrow. All right, so now we're back on this on the next day. And today what we're gonna actually do is, since we're gonna need to weld that front plate on here, I am actually gonna go ahead and cut this out Hopefully it doesn't give me too much trouble because there's not much, not much wiggle room there. So I'm going to take my Sawzall and probably just cut it like this somehow. And then I'll just grind the rest. So nothing too, too exciting. Let me just cut that out and then we'll get back to us, get back to it in a second. Once I have it cut out, cleaned up, and then we'll be ready to continue on the welding process. So let me get this cut out and I'll be right back. All right, so there we have it. The old cross member is sitting right over there. And now you can see we have a nice little clean surface to weld to. Need to grind a little bit more in there, but I think it'll be fine. But now we're finally ready to start burning some metal in. So I'm gonna tack these in the, in the corners. And then once we get them all tacked in, and then we'll go ahead and start fully welding these in. So here goes nothing. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and start with this first one down here. And uh, just closing these frames off. So let me guys set you, let me set you guys up right about here somewhere. Actually, I'm gonna get you closer. tacked in place and now I'm gonna go ahead and fully weld them all up and then I'll show you guys the results at the very end. the sides of the plates welded up not too bad if I do say so myself not the per prettiest welds not the most perfect but they'll hold so I can get this come on focus so we got the sides all pretty much knocked out um, now the only thing that I'm waiting for I'm gonna give it a little bit more time to cool down and now I'm gonna weld the top this inside, the underside right here, and then finish welding the bottom. <clears throat> and once we finish that, 
Um, then I'll be breaking out some of my square tubing. I was thinking of originally using some of the angle iron, but where'd it go? I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. Um, well, here it is. So I could, I could use that, but being that there's gonna be so much weight, it has to hold the weight of the truck. I really don't want that to be a weak point. Plus I would rather use that to make my fish plates. So I'm gonna break out my square tubing out after I uh, finish grinding those, set it up on my bench and then, uh, sorry, not grinding, welding those, set it up on the bench and then we'll try to figure out how we're gonna box this thing up. All right guys, so here's the end result. We have our plates fully welded. On these areas, I didn't get too good of a weld. I didn't like how it came out. So that's why after I had that first one in the very corner, I did two more passes and that's why it looks like that. But other than that, it's pretty good. Came out like that. Have a little bit of a gap right there, but I can just tack that up later. But other than that, we are good to go on both sides. A little bit, same thing, like I said right there, I had to do a, do a double weld, but um, we're all good there. Let's been good from over here. Here, just crawl over there. So there's the underside of that one. And there's the underside of that one. That one I really don't like as, uh, that much either, but it's still hold. So now we're to the point where we can add the reinforcement pieces which I already started cutting out. So as you can see, this is gonna be my top piece, which is gonna go right there. Doubt I can make it stand while well, I show you the other one. So kind of like that. And then the other one, here's gonna be the other one, like that. So that right there is gonna be our reinforcement and that's gonna be with the boxing, the square tubing I have over there. So let me go show you how we're gonna cut it out. All right, so here is my square tubing that I used from my last, my old build. This is three by four inch square tubing and it is three sixteenths inch, three sixteenths inch thick. So this is what we're gonna be using to make our little boxing. So I'll use like a flat edge right here on this side Put it right up against that and then mark this and that'll be my uh, piece that'll fill that area. And then I'll just do the same thing with this. Kind of mark it over here so that we don't waste materials. I might flip it around. Just try to utilize as much material as I can. Um, just have it set like that. And we'll cut uh, four pieces pretty much. Uh, two for each side. So I'm gonna get to cutting this. First, I'm gonna clean off my entire tubing. Somebody over here is crying. He probably goes wants to go to the bathroom. But I'm gonna get to cutting this and uh, cleaning this tubing up and we'll get ready to start ready to box up the frame. All right, I'm coming. All right, so that's gonna be the plan. Um, I'm gonna get this cut out, cleaned up, and then I'll show you, hopefully I can get these cut out tonight and show you um, what they're gonna look like on the truck itself. All right, well, here we have all our pieces nicely cut out. I still have to grind it just a little bit more on that backside, just to kind of help the bottom of this feel a little, little bit more flush, but you kind of get the idea. That one's gonna go there. And then we got this one. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> that was too small. We got this one right here. And this is gonna go right there. So just like that. Like I said, I still got a little bit more to clean up on it. Just to kind of help it sit a little bit better and uh, uh, have a little groove in it again so I can have a good little weld but that's pretty much how she's gonna look right there. All right, so now that it's the next day, I'm gonna take the time real quick and grind these down a little bit smooth. That way it fits on these curves a little bit better. 
just grind that corner of it down a little bit and then grind these angles, these corners, so I can uh, set it up against the flange, the weld right there a little bit better. So uh, take the time and grind these real quick and I will be right back when we will be ready to fully weld them in. gonna cut it for tonight another night all the way down to 10 o'clock but we are fully welded on our reinforced boxing areas the welds however I'm not too proud there could have been better welds in some areas um, but again I'm still an entry-level fabricator if you want to call me a fabricator self-proclaimed fabricator but some of the areas like that right there not too proud so professional welders are probably laughing their asses off as i show you my beautiful welds just kidding no but it'll hold i mean we got pretty pretty good heat on these uh plates so we should get good penetration on those welds but could be could be worse could be like those anyways but we are good to go uh, i'm going to cut it for tonight and i'm still debating whether i'm going to make some fish plates for this area just because the reason is since these uh plates that i put in are sitting higher than the actual frame width um i won't be able to lay my fish plate in there perfectly flat so uh, i don't know how i would do that go about doing a fish plate in this area so i don't know if i will do one um pretty sure this will be all right don't think we'll have any problems but famous last words but that will be for another day we'll think about it overnight uh this will be the video going up for sunday today is saturday night tomorrow so i gotta get this edited up and ready for you guys tomorrow so that is gonna cut it for today guys i am drenched in sweat dirty dusty breathe br breathe breath i've breathed enough i've breathed enough um welding fumes for tonight for one night so that will cut it for today guys again thank you guys for watching you guys blew up again the last video almost 2,000 views in one week this build is this build is becoming very popular so i appreciate everyone who's shared the videos make sure you like comment subscribe share this video again and click the link below because there's still merchandise available. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next Sunday.